Hello Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general weekly reading for Leo from the 14th to the 20th of October 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website, jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box uh, and I put in links to Amazon and eBay, so please follow these links to view or to buy the decks. And don't forget to watch my videos on simple energy healing remedies, my deck walkthrough series, as well as my um, new series on gemstones and crystals. You'll find those very, very interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. I'm starting off with the general energy read and I'm using the dream cards for that. So the first card is the birds card. So this is about communication, uh, networking, um, you know, communi uh, talking to a lot of people on that international front. So there could be a lot of messages coming in for you or you sending out a lot of communications as well, maybe over the internet, but there's a lot of uh, networking going on. Uh, you've got the rain card over here. So there's a need for you to protect yourself from every whatever's been going on. You've been going through a lot of drama, a lot of problems right now. Uh, maybe people not supporting you and maybe you've been feeling a lot, uh, you know, very let down as well. People have been raining on your parade, really. So, uh, you know, people have been very negative about whatever you've uh, tried to do. So, um, you know, you need to protect yourself and protect your ideas as well. There are solutions coming to you. You've got the keys card over here. So uh, all these problems that you're facing are going to get sorted out. There's advice coming for you. There might be some divine intervention that's going on. You've got the nighttime card over here. And uh, this is about clarity coming in and there's a need for you to focus on what is important for you. Uh, maybe that's what you've been doing and using your intuition a lot. Uh, you know, going into yourself, using your experience to sort through problems. You've certainly been doing some research into things. So maybe, um, uh, you know, going into the past, looking to see what the solutions are, trying to find out how to sort things out with this attic card. So, you know, going right into the depths, going backwards in time, really, to try and find out what you can do to sort these problems out. Going to the future, you've got the riding card. So this is about getting away from these problems and being able to sort things out. Uh, also, whatever you're stuck in, you're going to be, there's movement that is coming in. So there's freedom. This is about freedom coming in, but this is also about leaving behind difficult situations and moving forward. You've got the marriage card. This could be a new contract coming in for you. So this could be a new work contract coming in for you. Uh, and maybe even going for a new job. It seems like you're heading towards a new job over there and maybe signing new contracts. There's a lot of recognition as well coming in for you there. So those are the energies for that week. On the other hand, it could be that you're getting married. Uh, you know, that's also the possibility. So I'm going to draw some cards from the um, Fate Tarot of the main read. This reading looks like it's more about work than it is about relationships. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got uh, the Six of Cups. So it looks like there's been some kind of offer that has come in. It's a brand new offer. It was something that you were waiting for. And, uh, you know, you're pretty happy with it. Uh, it's all about the money. So you have been focusing a lot about on your personal finances. This new offer is going to bring in a lot of money. It's a brand new start for you there. And it puts you squarely in charge. And, um, you know, it's going to generate a lot of finances, which is really positive over here. Uh, you've got that Four of Swords, so you have been fighting your battles and winning. Uh, so you're not letting uh, the grass grow under your feet. You really are standing up for yourself over here. But it looks like there's a new job. This is a position of authority and, and um, you know, controlling finances and people, human resources as well. And it's something brand new. You've got that egg over there making a brand new start. And you can see there it's going to bring in a lot of money. So you've been looking for a job over there uh, and you're waiting um, so you're considering a lot of options and it looks like that option is going to be presenting itself to you pretty soon. So you might have been, um, you know, putting out a lot of feelers, putting out um, a lot of applications. 
This job is going to mean moving home. You've got the chariot card over here, and you can see maybe even going overseas over there. So uh, it seems like you're going to be in charge of a project, and it's going to be something overseas, and you're going to be moving home or buying a new home somewhere else to go and do that job. So you're relocating. So in the past, it's all about the money. Uh, it seems like there may have been an offer that has come in. You have been considering, uh, you know, getting uh, a promotion maybe. It could have even been a promotion, but there's certainly new money and a lot of it coming in as well. Um, there's been a lot of drama maybe in this uh, because you want to make a move. Uh, but it seems like you're leaving behind all the, the pro previous conflicts that you've been going through. Maybe your previous job paid you pretty well, but there was a lot of conflict in it. And maybe this is the reason why you're moving. Again, moving over water over here. So it looks like you might be moving overseas to do this job, um, you know, traveling off. There seems to be two cards about relocating and moving overseas over there. You've got that chariot as well as that six of swords there. And you can see that this uh, Seven of Pentacles is in the water. So it looks like it's some kind of job overseas. Now, on your mind, you are trying to uh, become an expert at what you're doing. You're very, very focused on that work. You are very single-minded about it. And you're not, uh, you know, letting anything else distract you. Um, so whatever you are putting your focus and energy on, again, very, very focused, very, uh, you know, whatever you're meditating is going to produce... Uh, you know, golden flowers, so uh, it's going to be very, very productive, but you're going to have to put in a lot of hard work. You've got a little spade over there, so you're going to, maybe you're starting from the ground up, so you're starting something fresh, maybe building up a new project, but it's going to have some really good uh, rewards, a good outcome to that. Uh, there's seven of swords over here, so, you know, you, are, you need, do need to watch your back. People around you are not really in supporting you and you need to stand up for yourself as well so you can see she's looking behind and holding that sword so the seven of swords is a card of deception so and deceit so just watch out uh, maybe this is based on a lot of jealousy as well there's a lover's card over here so needing to look at things from a very different perspective as well you can see this woman's upside down and considering things that you would never consider going for so um you can see this fairy's fallen in love with this ogre uh so maybe uh you know putting your um don't put all your eggs into one basket there is something that you need to do that is different from that uh, that you've already done before so maybe doing your career in a different way or going down a different path but there's definitely a choice that is coming uh for you and you need to make a, a unique decision should i say there will be divine guidance that comes in for you, so you are going to be shown the way on what to do. And you are going down the right path, it seems. You've got the Ace of Wands, so this is a new project, the Magician, as well as the Three of Swords. So the Ace of Wands, you see whatever you work on is going to be, you know, producing a hard, uh, you know, producing the goods. You're going to have to put a lot of effort and energy into it, but it is going to be productive for you. And with the magician, there might be some further study that comes in as well, uh, further learning and also, you know, multitasking, networking, uh, but learning a lot and using your experience as well to manifest the things that you want. Um, you've got the Three of Swords over here. So this is about breaking contracts maybe and going again, the sea there. So maybe um, you know leaving this uh, old job that you're doing because there's so much of conflict, breaking a uh, contract with them because it seems like there's some kind of stalemate situation. There seems to be a lot of deception going on around you, a lot of problems, and you may need to just let it go and move on. Start Go and start afresh somewhere else. Make a move because whatever you start somewhere else is going to be really productive. It's going to bring in the money. So this is the first card that fell, the two of air, showing that there's a decision that needs to be made. So you need to be very logical. And this is about, you know, reaching a stalemate situation. Um, you know, make sure that you understand that, you know, um, people are really not for you. So you might have to cut ties and move on. And you are facing a, uh, a very difficult decision over there. So be very logical when you're making that decision. You've got the Unity card, the Hierophants. This is about further learning, uh, traditional viewpoints, methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors or like-minded friends. So you may need to get some very professional advice or you might be taking on a role as a teacher as well, using all your experience in this new job to generate money. You've got the six of fire over here. There's victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition. So whatever it is you're going to be doing, uh, it's all going to go in your favor. And you've gone through a lot of problems with that six of fire. It's a six of wands having victory after going through problems. 
So you are going to conquer this situation uh, and, you know, you might have to just leave things behind and move on to this new job because people, be, you know, that you're working with are not really in your, in your, uh, on the same page as you. And, you know, this big decision coming up with that lover's card is about leaving behind this situation that's going nowhere and going for something that's going to give you that freedom. It's going to generate a lot of money and it's going to give you that recognition and victory that you're looking for. So, big decisions coming up for you, Leo, um, and I wish you all the best, and I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.